All right, guys. So this episode of The Flash was fucking lit, man. We I'm trying to unpack all this because all right. So anyway, as we all know, the season finale of uh fourth season season the fourth season finale of The Flash, we saw Barry and Nora uh, destroy the satellite that the Finger had orbiting down into Central City from Earth from space, and we see a young vlogger by the name of Spencer Young, and she turns out to be a rival. She turns out to be a rival of Iris West. And she has a lot of bad blood towards her because back when Iris was, you know, working with CCPN, uh, Spencer was a young junior uh, journalist, and she Iris really just bossed her around and pretty much became like a control freak towards her. If it was her, if it was Iris's blog, everything had to go her Iris's way. And so when that happened, there was a lot of dark. Now mind you, there was a lot of dark matter on that satellite. So if it hit tech or if it hit a person, guess what? They now have powers. And see, this is how it all kind of correlates. As we go on, you know, they start to investigate deeper into, you know, Cicada's identity. Uh, Ralph Dibney was like, all right, look, if we want to figure out who Cicada is, why don't we just look at the identity, the, you know, the mask of the man? So Sherlock and Ralph go to where a processing plant that uh, manufactures a certain uh, element. And it turns out when you breathe into it, you have to wear certain uh, special uh, masks so then you won't breathe in the, the debris of said chemical it turns out that same mask that every worker uses the same mask that cicada uses we actually even saw cicada actually working while Sherlock and ralph were actually investigating you know the mask and what it's used for and so we learned that cicada after scary scaring the shit out of caitlin <laughs> um has breathing problems like his lungs are damaged so when caitlin hit him in the diaphragm he said he began to sound just like cicada and so we saw that at the very end of the episode, when he got home, he was in agonizing pain. The scar on his chest began to get bigger and bigger, and he actually developed super strength. So I guess that's a part of the dark matter from the tech as well. That's one thing the Team Flash figured out. So they no longer, the dark energy, dark matter no longer just creates metahumans. It creates tech, meta technology as well. So anyone that has it can wreak havoc. That's what we saw about with Spencer Young. And no matter that we never got, gave her a name because Cisco was laying low with his family, but... Every headliner she used hip, hip, put everyone in hypnosis and did things that they normally would not do. For example, if she put up excess kills to Flash, she, Nora began attacking the Flash and trying to kill him. But we also learned a lot about Nora as well. You know, while they were trying to get the dead drop on uh, Spencer, they sent Nora in to try to get more information to prove she was a medium because, you know, Nora likes Spencer because, you know, she's affiliated. You know, she just has feelings for her. And so we learned that in the future, Iris actually, the reason why Nora hates Iris so much is that for her entire life, until six months ago, as Nora puts it, Iris dampened her power, you know, using a power dampener chip. So that's why she pretty much hated Iris. And Iris said, look, I, whatever I did in the future, I'm sure I did it to protect you and Barry co-signed that. Prompting Laura to go, Nora to go to live with Papa Joe and Cecile. And Joe said, look, I, listen, we'll talk about the reason for you staying here later on. So I look forward to seeing what happens next week, man. This has been your boy Share Speaks. If you guys have any uh, requests as to what videos you guys want to do next, please let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys. God bless. And I'm about to do my Black Lightning review pretty soon. One love.